right guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did here for the, the slide out, the actual components that are going to make this whole entire here, right here, this whole opening, move in and out. Um, the reason I decided to do this was two things. First of all, I just enjoy doing these kind of things, just making stuff with my hands. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, even though it could be a pain in the butt sometimes, at the end of the day, I really like it. Also, when I looked into um, purchasing the actual components for the slide out, there was really not too much, inf there wasn't much information out there regarding this. You know, when I was trying to find it, I found some stuff, but not much. And the stuff that I did find, it was expensive. I mean, it could, it could, I could, when I started to do the math, it started to come out to m multiple thousands of dollars, you know, depending on if it was electric, if it was hydraulic, and I have two slide outs. I have this slide out here that I'm making plus a slide out in the back, which you guys, it's out of the picture here, but it's in the back. Um, so, you know, I could have easily been spending, I don't know, $4,000, I guess, you know, on a slide out, uh, at least from the information I found. So I ended up with this. The initial idea of this thing here came from, I use here engine, when I'm restoring cars here, I use engine hoist, you know, an engine hoist to pull out, actually, the, you know, the engine and the transmission. And it's, uh, it's kind of like uh, an engine hoist, if you guys have never seen it. It's kind of similar to like this arm thing that kind of comes out and you kind of attach it to a motor and pulls out. Now the arm portion is kind of like a, a tripod. If you can think of a tripod, how it has like the inner, you know, the inner feet that kind of move into the outer, you know, like thicker and smaller and kind of moves in and out. Well, it's basically the same concept. Like this goes inside here and it moves in and out. Um, when I, uh, uh, once I started to do brainstorming, just trying to research more information, I ran into a gentleman that did basically something similar to that for his slide out. He did it on the back of like a truck. He put like a camper on the back of a pickup truck and he did a slide out on that. And uh, he did it, that's kind of like where I got this this idea of putting these uh, bearings here. He did it, um, um, and also he seemed like he had like laser cutting, computerized machines and stuff like that. Um, so his stuff came out, you know, I'll put a post in this, i put the link in this post so that way you guys can see what he did. Um, he, like I said, he was doing it computerized with laser machine, at least that's what it seemed like, and it came out really nice. All of my stuff I did by hand. Um, and the, the equipment that I have, is really not necessarily meant to cut stuff this thick. Like the plasma torch I have, it's more a light duty. You know, it's like for when I'm like like when I'm here restoring these cars and stuff. It's meant for stuff like that. It's steel much thinner than this stuff. For instance, um, uh, this here is a quarter inch thick steel, four by four. Let me give you let me give you a shot here of the inside. Um, this steel here is a uh, quarter inch thick and four by four. This here is a uh, three by three quarter inch thick steel. This is six feet long. This is three feet long. This here goes inside of there and moves in and out. I'm going to show you a little clip of the movement of this moving in and out. Like I'm going to cut it into this video like right now. All right, the reason it moves so smoothly, I could basically move it with one finger, is because of these bearings. These bearings and also these side bearings. I ended up putting these bearings here on the side to, uh, to kind of keep, keep this centered in that hole. Um, initially, before I, before I put this in, I, was, I only had these bearings and what was happening, it was kind of getting jammed up. Like when it would slide in and out, it would kind of move to the side and kind of get stuck. So I ended up putting these bearings, you know, on each side, two here and two on the other side, like this, here, and then uh, here, to keep, to guide, as a guide, to keep it, you know, centered. Um, and that's worked out great. Um, these bearings were, these bearings are an inch, an inch uh, 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 big. Um, goes in this hole here is an inch hole 
um, that I drilled out. And let me tell you, out of this whole thing here, the most part that gave me the hardest time and I was just cursing up a storm through the whole process was drilling out these holes. These holes, I ended up going through like two drill bits that are an inch thick. And let me tell you, they're like 40 or 50 bucks. I broke both of them. I broke the second one on the last hole. And man, it just beat me up. Um, so I drilled out these holes to give it the right distance so it would sit right at the right, at the correct place, you know, the measurement wise, you know, so it would sit even on each side. Um, I ended up buying these washers. This is an inch diameter here, a quarter inch thick here. So um, um, I ended up welding it here. I ended up putting a little spacer in between here and the steel to just give it that little bit more that it needed to keep the measurements correct so it would, this would stay centered right in the middle. I'll, sh I'll show pictures and, uh, of that, you know, of me actually putting it to weld it and stuff like that so that way you guys can have a better idea of what, what that is. Um, so I welded this here, put that there, ended up getting these washers here and using these washers as a cap to hold these things in place. These washers were, I think like $4 a pound. And I got like a little bit under a pound, enough to do all of them. Um, these bearings here, these bearings here are one inch in diameter, the whole thing, uh, half inch in the inner diameter. These I got on eBay also, I think a hundred of them for about a hundred bucks, wasn't bad. I think they're rated for like 3,000 pounds each and I have six of them here across. So it's, I, I think I'll be more than, more than enough uh, 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 weight-wise to be able to hold what I'm going to be doing here. Um, these are washers here that I put in the side. The reason I put these washers here was to kind of keep these bearings in the middle so there wouldn't be too much movement back and forth and they, that way it wouldn't, they wouldn't get jammed up and like, you know, messed up. I put these little spacers here um, that I made out of a, a half inch tube steel that I ended up buying at, I don't remember where I bought it, I think at <clears throat> a local Ace Hardware store around here. I think it was like maybe like uh, $15 for like five feet of it or something. Um, uh, I don't remember these measurements. I'm going to put it in there. I th actually, these are like under half an inch, uh, roughly half an inch to keep it centered. Uh, and I'm super pleased the way this came out. This, is, this actually came out really good. Um, this angle here, right here, I had some of this stuff laying around the shop from before. I don't remember what it cost. Um, this, I welded it to, the, to this, so this would attach to the, fr to the actual frame of the bus. Uh, this is six by six angle and three eighths thick. I ended up having, I, the, I initially tried to cut this with my plasma torch and I, it just wasn't going to happen. I, I cut some of it and it was just taking me forever. So what I ended up doing to cut most of this steel is this cutoff wheel. It worked out great. This cutoff wheel, um, I bought this, I don't remember, like 20 bucks or no, I think like $39 or something like that at Home Depot. And each one of these cutoff things are like $3 or $2 in Home Depot. Um, and it just kind of, it pretty much just zips right through the steel without an issue. Um, what else? So this stuff here, the, the hardest, like I said, the hardest part I had with this was cutting out these holes. All of it was pretty labor intensive, to be honest. Cutting all of this steel was a pain in the butt. Um, I ended up going through multiple socks because of the metal filing was getting into my socks and I ended up just throwing socks out all, all the time. I ended up going through like two pairs of shoes because the metal filings were getting in my shoes. I ended up creating like a little hood that would go over my feet so they wouldn't mess up my shoes anymore. Um, but I'm super pleased with this. Um, this whole thing, I'm going to put a total of what I think I spent on this stuff. Uh, this steel, for instance, was, I got 25 foot of this steel, this three by three. Uh, I think it was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks at a steel shop up in uh, Miami, like downtown Miami. Same thing with this. This four by four, I got 25 feet of that for like, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, so overall, I, I know I've saved money not buying a commercial. Also, one other thing. The whole intent of this also that I really wanted to do was for it to not be attached to any mechanical things. 
where I was able to service it myself um, and, and I didn't have to worry about a hydraulic pump breaking or the electric motor breaking or anything like this. In theory, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work, is that I'll be able to move this in and out by hand if I wanted to or I'm going to have it on a, on, a, on, a, on a big like screw bolt. I'll show you that once I start getting it all attached where I'll be able to move it in either by hand or with a drill attached to it and be able to kind of move it in and out. Um, so that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to build this on my own. Um, so I'm very happy with the way it came out. If you guys have any questions on what I did, how I did it, feel free to ask me. I'll, be, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Like I said earlier, I'll put all of the measurements, all of the stuff that I used in the blog post associated with this. And um, now I'm going to show you the fast motion video of me cutting and welding and all of this. The next step, the next video is going to be of a, the actual getting it attached to the bus. I'm going to start that today, cutting the floorboard and getting stuff ready. Um, and uh, I hope I can get that portion done fairly quickly. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, I really enjoy all of your feedback, your questions. Uh, I, I try to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Um, you can email me at lewis at lemonheadpress.com or you can get in touch with me through YouTube, through the website in Lemonhead Press um, or many other things, either through Twitter, whatever the case might be. You just search Lemonhead Press and we'll come up. So uh, that's it. Thanks, guys.